What is bullshit? What does it do? And how does it work? What makes bullshit, bullshit? Let's begin by taking a look at its composition. Bullshit is made up of three separate layers that surround all of our thinking. The first innermost layer is standard human bullshit, SHB, and this is completely harmless. You know how things go. You bump into that someone you promised to call last month, but completely forgot because that someone is so forgettable. You see them, and the first thing to jump out of your mouth is, hey, I was just thinking about you and reminding myself to call you the second I get home. But here you are. What a coincidence. The middle layer is advanced human bullshit and known on the street as AHB. It has a colorful effect on everyday conversation. A friend says, so last month I was in Uganda and met a cheater 20 quid I could run faster. Really? Of course, and I won. Your heart tells you there's no way a cheater would ever make a bet like that. But your brain comes up with a hypothetical situation in which the cheater has extra cash to spend on crazy people who think they know how to run. Two credible alternatives, either one possible. The third, outermost layer is extreme human bullshit. EHB, truly hardcore material. It's the kind of stuff that makes you shake your head and ask, did I really just hear that? For instance, you lend a friend your bike for one day. One month later, there's no sign of your bicycle. So you pay a visit and begin with a friendly, where's my bike? At that point, your friend's eyes shift left to right to left to right. Tiny beards of perspiration appear on his upper lip, and he looks so incredibly guilty. He clears his throat and then begins. See, you're probably not going to believe this, but the fact is, aliens stole your bike. They took it away in their spaceship. I saw them do it, but didn't have the necessary qualifications to intervene. Now, even if you wanted to believe every word, even if you tried your very best to accept this as the truth, you'd fail. Why? because the Lobos logicatum, the part of the brain that processes common sense and protects you from excess foolishness, will say, no, sorry, that's just not true. Aliens in the middle of town and your friend the only one in the city to see them? So yes, extreme human bullshit has a funny side, but you do need to watch out. While it's an excellent and highly recommended choice when explaining away a lost bicycle, it can just as easily be used to spread nasty thoughts and wicked plans. Around and in between the three layers of bullshit are four sheets of reason. The first and thinnest limits the drip of SHB into our conscious thinking. The second sheet of reason does its very best to minimize contact between SHB and AHB. On those rare occasions when the two layers do combine, a powerful substance called bullshit AOS is created. This is not the kind of thing you want to have circulating around the community. The third sheet of reason keeps AHB and EHB apart. Their coming together produces the highly toxic bullshit Majestica. Much worse than Aoas, Majestica breeds tears and pain and loss. It's best to avoid that one when you can. The fourth, outermost and thickest sheet of reason prevents the flow of EHB into space and keeps universal contamination to a minimum. And one other thing, sometimes, and this is very, very, very uncommon, the three layers of bullshit team up and form Bullshit Magnificatus, an unstoppable force that destroys the protective sheets of reason and neutralizes all forms of common sense. Bullshit Magnificatus means mayhem, less light, more dark, less joy. Fortunately, we still have laughter to protect us, if you know what I mean.